What's up everyone? We are out here at Legacy Stables. Legacy Stables. We are doing a corporate party today for Horizon Health. It is a big one. So there are actually three production companies that are being are being used for this event. And each one of us kind of has one field of use. We are doing lighting. We have one that's doing video and we have one that's doing audio. I will be the DJ tonight as well as a secondary artist performance is going to be taking place. Jay, Jay, Jay Sean is coming, Jay Sean. I'm not allowed to say that until later, but um, yeah, he's coming, he's bringing his own DJ and they got uh, CDJs for him. I'm of course using my turntables. It's a big, uh, it's a big setup, big setup. We are doing projector mapping with snow. We got another one down there. We're doing wash around the whole room. We're doing up lights around the whole room. We're doing four stacks of totems. And I don't know if we're doing anything else, but we're doing a lot. We'll go through a full gear tour here in a little bit. All right, lighting's on. Let's go through everything that we're doing real quick. Although um, some of the stuff isn't finalized yet. They're still gonna raise the drapes and stuff, but we have a uh, projector mapped snow on this wall and that wall what is up everyone wanted to pop in here i'm gonna pop in periodically to explain different things in the video because i didn't do a good job doing it because we had a big event going on and you'll find here in a second a couple things went wrong yes i have a bed head it's morning trying to get this video up for you guys today further projector mapping just so you guys know we're using projectors these are the epson power light 224 Five U. I have a full video that goes over how we do projector monograms and projector stuff like this video where we're doing animations. We put them up on gravity stands and we use media players to play our projection animations. And our projector animations are from uh, projectorgram.com. So little plug, I love projectorgram.com. We've been using them for three years plus now, pretty much ever since we added on the monogram feature because I and my team are not good with graphic design. And the back and forth of getting monograms produced for weddings or any event whatsoever is time consuming. So the beauty of projectorgram.com is they have a no price blank website called mydigitalgobo.com that has all of their options there. So we literally just send our clients say, hey, go pick out your monogram from our designer's webpage. They go on there, they say, I like M5, and they tell us the text that they want, and then we go to projectorgram.com and we order it. Or they can even customize it even further, and we tell our clients this. They can go, if they like M5, but they like the font of M6, they can do that customization and do both the monograms together, which is really cool. It is a little bit of a fee additional to do that, but you're offering a fully customizable monogram experience for your clients and you can sell that to them uh, very easily and the fact that they have the no price website makes it super easy to sell them to clients literally in our brochure it says check out all of our design options here and it sends them to mydigitalgobo.com but it, there's no prices there for them to see so basically they'll tell us the monogram we go to projectogram we order the monogram they send us a revision we send it to the client if they want changes we can go back and forth it's a super smooth process and it keeps my team from having to ever hassle with anything related to Photoshop or video editing graphics or any of that because there's animational stuff like the snow that you saw here you can find that on projectorgram.com anyways back to the video projectorgram.com is awesome if you need any monograms and I'll link the video on how we do projector related projection monograms and animations that video will also be in the description down below but back to the video there are a bunch of uplights obviously around the room we got four wash fx's around the room wash fx twos and then we have uh two of the both lighting wash movers on top of our tall 10 foot three meter totems those are washing the ceiling in different areas as well we have on the back we have our two normal size two and a half or two meter totems with the um, both lighting white mh150 spots we have my turntable booth back there twinkle drape back they have some more drape they got to bring we attached it to the drape but that's going to be raised up as well here we're also doing uh, audio in the side room but this is pretty much what all we were doing rain 12s s9 we're running everything off of sound switch control and it looks amazing this is kind of um so the other dj for uh, jay sean is going to be right here got some cdjs midas m32 board they're running the pa and all that separate from us this is the cocktail hors d'oeuvre area so they're going to come in here for cocktail we're going to play music off of the ld maui 44 g2 nice and loud good to go all right we all set up sound switch show express twinkle drape is up we got corn in the building we're open doors right now people are slowly funneling in here and um i'm doing my hardcore analyzing right now of the crowd seeing who i see out here but i got some introductions i gotta do and 
stuff like that. But Twinkle Drape looking dope. Anyways, Jay Sean later. Let's go. There was Thank you for everything you did for me. I love you very much. I'm going to join my husband. Novella's sister passed away suddenly yesterday, so they're un unable to be here this evening. Yo, Jay Sean is literally performing at this event. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Come on, let's go. Back to the video, peace. Go, go, go. Well, turns out I did a very poor job filming that video, but yeah, a lot of things actually, I wanna talk about a lot of things that actually happened at this event, and I'm gonna chill here. Noelle, say hi to the people. Hi, baby girl. Noelle just turned one year old. Love my baby girl. So let's start with the event in general. So timeline got way screwed up. Timeline was thrown together the day of the event. That is no one's real fault. It just happened that way. It happens a lot of times at corporate events. It's a very loose timeline. And then we kind of try to throw it together at the last minute. And when there's things involved like having an A-list performer come in, uh, having a timeline is a little bit more crucial. But what ended up happening, the goal was six o'clock was when people were gonna arrive, we're gonna go to the back room, we're gonna have cocktails and hors d'oeuvres, and they had all kinds of other stuff. They had photo booths, 360 booths, they had candy stations, all kinds of stuff was going on at this event. Then they all would go to the main room at seven for dinner, well, an opening sort of thing and dinner. And then Jay Sean was gonna perform at nine o'clock to 10 o'clock. Well, actually 9 to 9.30, I believe. It was only a 30 minute performance. And then I was gonna DJ from 10 to 11. That was the goal. What ended up happening was, uh, when you have this many people, trying to move people from one room to another is really tricky to do. And we just did not allocate for that much time. So 6.45, we started to try and move people to the main room. And it took quite a while. I think right around 7.15, maybe 7.30 is when we actually started the opening presentation that you saw from the head speaker from this uh, corporate company. And he was giving his whole thing, going through the awards, etc. And I think that took us to eight o'clock. Somewhere around eight o'clock is when we actually started dinner. Now, dinner went very quick. They had two full lines. The catering team knocked it out. Uh, we weren't really too concerned with that, but that pushed back Jay Sean quite a bit because we finished up dinner about 8.45, and then uh, they had to open up the dessert bar, and there was a cigar roller that came in and all kinds of cool stuff, and that was all in the back room, and then people had to move back for Jay Sean, and I believe Jay Sean finally went on at like 10 o'clock, and he went from 10 to 10.30. It was a 30-minute performance, and then I had to DJ the rest of the night. I mean, it was... 
it was late. And if you saw from the last clip, as soon as Jay Sean was done, everyone kind of went home to some degree. Because what happened was Jay Sean, as soon as he went off stage, he forcefully like made himself to the lobby and everyone sort of followed to try and you know get photos, autographs, because it, this was a surprise performance. No one at the company knew that Jay Sean was coming except for the head guys and everyone wanted photos and all, photographers and all that. So I pretty much had like maybe 10 or 20 people left of this 300, 400 person event. It pretty much was over after that. Everyone got their photos, they left, and uh, everyone had a great time though. I mean, Jay Sean was the main staple performance. I was really proud of all the lighting we did. Um, the venue is a new venue that we're working really, really closely with. Well, they're not a new venue, but they're a new relation that we've been developing over the last year. And uh, we got a really cool one coming up for Ashley Furniture as well out there. And I'm really excited to share some content from that as well. But that was super cool. Lighting wise, was dope. I do want to give some plugs, you know, all the things that we used. If you guys are interested in Twinkle Drape, I'll link them in the description down below. And I'll also link what we used to hang them onto the pipe and drape poles. Um, they're actually just clips that you would use to hang skirting on a table at a banquet, but um, they're all on Amazon. I'll link it. It's really cheap to buy and uh, it's a really cool sales factor where you can add those up across. They, they're they nine and a half foot tall, so as long as the drapes around like 10 foot tall, it looks really cool. So I'll link that down below in the description as well as if you guys are interested in any of the lighting products we use with the exception of the Shave Wash FX 2s and the Wash FX Hex. No, we didn't use any hexes in this one. We just used Wash FX 2s because we were only using blue pretty much. But if you guys are interested in any of the other lighting that we used, that was all both lighting S4s. The both lighting MH150 spots were on the uh, back totems and then uh, the MH wash movers were on the front totem. So all of that is products that I, my company sells. We are the only US-based authorized both lighting dealer. That means that basically you're buying a Chinese-based product with a US-based dealer. So you get US-based warranties from us. We have a one-year warranty guarantee. We make the buying process super simple. If you have any issues, we can do repairs. We have spare parts and we'll get all of your orders and issues sorted out very easily and very quickly and we speak English so you don't have to worry about the la the language barrier sometimes talking to those guys in China is really tricky that's a little backstory if you guys want any of the lighting products it's linked in the description down below if you want any of the info on projector gram where you can get your projector uh, monograms made it'll be linked in the description down below and the video going over how we do projector mapping and all that is linked in the description down below as well so Lots of content. I highly recommend you guys, if you guys have are new to the channel, to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and go through some of my older videos. I have a backlog of amazing, really educational stuff on this channel, including how to do sales funnels, automations with CRMs, gear related videos when it comes to speakers, monograms, lighting. There's a full show express lighting tutorial on how you program lights, how to do wireless DMX, everything. There is a such a backlog of content on this channel that is super helpful. Go check it out. It can help you tremendously. Literally just go to my channel, click the search button and search for whatever it is that you are wanting to learn more about. If you're on a phone, sometimes it's easier if you just search DJ Rick web and then whatever you are looking to learn more about and I probably have a video on it. Anyways guys, I appreciate all of you guys. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and keep them records spinning and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.